if i enter into a marriage yes obviously my husband is going to cheat like you can never ever find a good man if i marry I why can't you speak just positively you came into this world alone you're going to literally die alone you're experiencing life alone if jay-z could cheat on beyonce who is my husband if he doesn't cheat on me hey my loves welcome welcome back to my channel in today's video it's going to be something new and i don't even know why i'm holding this because this is a warning like this is a warning video yes guys in 2024 i want you all to stop with this negative mindset stop with the negative mindset my name is naomi or foydu and i always say you stay subscribed because i give the best tips on how to elevate your life so yes guys in this video i'm going to teach you how to stop playing yourself in 2024 and also how to even overcome this fear because yes the first thing i always say when um, or I always think of when people tend to say negative things is just the fear of failure There is nothing else and nothing else again to that reason why People actually just have this negative mindset. So yeah, it might come across like um, I'm just saying this because of oh, maybe probably my state of life Maybe my life can be compared or whatever. Yes. Let me tell you something. Yeah do you know that there are some people out there that literally has what someone is begging god for but then because of how it's been narrowed down for them or whatever they think they feel like they can never be enough or they can never do better than they are see immediately you start sabotaging yourself or your future or your life or your relationship <laughs> that's literally you sabotaging so people can literally just go into a relationship due to what they've experienced in the past yeah i get it it's not easy but due to what they've experienced in the past they already sabotaged the new relationship that might even literally be the perfect man for them they will start thinking if you're going into a relationship like for instance for example, you're going into a relationship, you already have the fear of, oh, is this person going to cheat on me? This person is a fine guy. He has everything. Like, literally, that's what a lot of girls are looking for. I can't really trust him. He's going to cheat on me. Da, 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 da. That is a negative mindset. Or you're telling me, oh, yeah, if I enter into a marriage, yes, obviously, my husband is going to cheat. You guys, I cannot even emphasize on this particular topic like you see this one that a lot of people tend to say oh if i get married my husband will cheat that is men's nature do you know that there are a lot of men out there that okay wait let me just say <laughs> let me just say a few men out there that do not cheat do you know that there, there are men out there that actually they they do not even cheat but do you know but we, due to the mindset that oh yes that, but that's how society has made it seem like you can never ever find a good man if i marry i just want to just i don't want to put my mind into that my husband's gonna cheat da, 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 da. like you're already sabotaging what you feel like you're not even right for like you're already taming yourself down that like, oh it's just marriage yes i <laughs> like no matter how fine i can be no matter how beautiful i can be i don't think marriage is for me because you're seeing a whole lot of other people failing in their marriage why can't you speak just positively you came into this world alone you're going to literally die alone you're experiencing life alone your own story is going to be a different case speak into that speak positivity into your life you can't keep saying oh because this happened to this person and this person was perfect um okay look at this guys if jay-z could cheat on beyonce who is my husband if he doesn't cheat on me how does that make any sense for you you can literally tell yourself oh my marriage you need to stop this negative mindset tell yourself my marriage is going to be so beautiful although i'm going to face some challenges my marriage is going to be beautiful my husband is going to be a faithful man people pr pray for that it happens you will get it you will get it where's my cobo you will get it remove this 
Remove this negative mindset that you have in 2024. If you want to have a successful marriage, if you want to have a successful relationship, change this narrative. But then also, I keep saying, have your own boundaries. Change this narrative of, oh, this person is not that. My, this person can never be disloyal. Just nah, like you're already having this negative mindset. And that's how you're going to live it through your life. Which is so wrong because positivity always keeps the home happy. There's joy. There's po like, don't put your mind like, like you've not started anything and you're already saying that your husband will cheat on you or your boyfriend will cheat on you or whatever. There are some people that are disciplined. If you're too scared or you can't believe, pray to God for that. God provides good things. I don't know how to emphasize this again. God provides good things. I have dated someone that actually doesn't cheat. And I never sabotage that. And I pray to God that God, I don't want this, like, this is what I said, my, like, there's a power of manifestation. I'm going to do that for you guys later. And the method you're going to use. What I tell myself is, oh God, if I'm entering into this thing, as I enter, not even if, as I enter into this, God, I know I am going to succeed. I have succeeded. That's, that's the power of manifestation. That's the power of telling God that, oh, you're speaking positivity into your life. And as you're speaking positivity into your life, that is how it's going to happen for you. There is no two ways about it. I don't know how to emphasize on that. Leave this negative mindset people have of marriage, relationship, you can never get in, or in Lagos, you can never get, there's some few men in Lagos, few, few men in Lagos that they don't cheat. They don't, they are even shy to talk to women. They are, they don't cheat. They, they are not wired that way. So you guys need to stop and then, the next one is boundaries how to have this like how to stop this negative mindset you need to even start setting boundaries first of all when i mean setting boundaries setting boundaries into the like setting boundaries based on the way you think now i know it's not going to be easy or anything yeah but then when you start seeing yourself like now there are some people that are willing to change like that particular mindset there's some really people that are willing to say okay you know what i want to stop thinking this way i want greater th things in my life i want to stop thinking like this blah 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 when you set boundaries to the way you think and it's not literally going to be overnight that your mindset is going to change those boundaries that you're going to set when you actually think will help you in the long way and that's how you literally stop thinking negatively in your life when you start seeing yourself thinking that ah okay if i go for this job oh this is a very high-end company and people don't really pass and people don't really do this i don't even have connections how am i going to how am i even going to where am i going to start when you start seeing yourself when you start thinking like that yeah just tell yourself you are great you have god like in your mind you are great you have god god is your only connection to this your you've passed the exam once you start giving your set your brain that sort of boundary that yo yo yo, yo you're drifting to this way st st just in your in your brain mm, just start prophesying just start changing oh i'm good like immediately you notice that your brain is already thinking this way set that boundary i said oh no no i have to overcome you i have to overcome the way i think i have to because i am great because i am this because i am that because that is who you are and stand on business that's who you are like i don't even want to say too much on that third step on how to actually stop this negative mindset is actually removing the spirit of shyness i don't even know how i'm going to say this removing the spirit of shyness like there are some people that are so shy like i get to it's not easy or anything they are so shy to the extent that they start talking down about themselves they are so timid and they are so they were just like ah oh, like maybe okay in a, in, a, in a place where they've tried so many times for jobs i get that can be very very draining that can be very very disappointing and you might even lose hope there are some people that just one time you try applying for a job and because you didn't get it that's the end of your life how how do you want to move that like if you can't 
accept like i said even that's my fourth point you need to accept disappointment as success you need to accept disagreement you need to accept rejection as a new open door you need to start believing in yourself. You need to start believing in God. Like if you don't believe in yourself, believe in God. God will remove that unbelief that you have for yourself and you start believing in yourself. So that is just how it works. It's not going to be easy. But if you tell yourself you're going to try this year, I'm betting you. By the time next year, your whole, like the way you, not even next year, next year is too long. The way you're going to think, it's going to, change you totally so by the time you start accepting disappointment disagreement rejection by the time you accept it as something very positive in your life and you tell yourself oh thank you for rejecting me thank you for thank god i thank you that i experienced um that i failed my exam today but god give me next time i do not want i have passed this exam but give me open my brain teach me where to read what to do well, if you don't pass an interview, yes, oh, thank you so much. Cry about it, oh. You can cry about it and everything. But don't tame yourself down and don't let it be like it's the end of the world and you're incompetent or you're a failure or you're, or, or you're ugly or you're... <laughs> Come on now. I get it's not easy, but then once you start changing the, that narrative, I'm telling you, you will get everything you want in this life. There is no two ways about it. Even in as much as you're not even at that point at which you are you'll be grateful for life first thing first you need to even be grateful that you're alive that's the first positive mind you need to have you're grateful for your, that you're alive because even if you are alive you can literally change your life in a month in a year in six months but once you now accept that oh i accept this rejection because i know that i have something greater in front of, ahead of me i have something greater ahead of me i have a bigger company that is going to transform my life once you accept that don't accept and go and sleep oh accept and train yourself better that when you face a better company there is no need for them to even reject you do you understand don't go and say oh yes i've accepted rejection i've accepted um failure from something 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 and then you're gonna sleep you're not even training yourself to be better how do you even want to how do you even want to get back from where you came from do you understand so guys <laughs> as i carried my cane today <laughs> stop thinking negatively you are beautiful now let me talk about this physical appearance thing when it comes to the beauty body shaming or body positivity thingy blah 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 now um hmm, this can be mentally draining for a lot of people especially ladies literally anyone now when it comes to this body thing yeah what people say or what people hear or what people hear about them that tends to accumulate in their head like that's what feels oh you're fat you see let me tell you something once you start loving yourself nobody on this earth let me tell you something nobody on this earth will tell you shit once you start loving god once you start loving yourself nobody will tell you shit. nobody can tell you oh let's say you're adding weight you're stress eating you're doing that someone tell you oh you're very fat you're fat you're too fat you look ugly like you're ugly you feel like oh thank you but i know i'm not ugly i know that i'm fat maybe i'm probably eating healthy but thank you and i do not appreciate how you're talking to me you need to stand up the only time you need to talk about yourself when you're looking at yourself and then it's, lots of people will tend to be like oh you're ugly you're this, that, 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 that. it affects people a lot i'm not telling you i'm not even lying it affects people mentally so when they come back home they'll look at themselves they will start crying oh god i'm fat i'm ugly who would marry a fat girl like me who would who, I can, I, can I toast a <laughs> can I toast a babe <laughs> as I'm fat like this <laughs> and all of those things jiggets but then once you start loving your body you see this whole body positivity there are some people that are very fat but I love there's this girl on Instagram the way she loves her body she doesn't even think negatively she's still posting she's a content creator all of those things like she is in love with her body do not let me tell you something 
if you want to reduce reduce on your own terms if you know that you want to be a big girl or your fat or you like how you have big bum or whatever own it is your body love your body that way if you know that oh you're very fat and then you want to reduce fine that you 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 would prefer or you have self-confidence when you reduce fine but then don't let it feel like when you reduce that's when you have your self-confidence have your self-confidence throughout the phases of your life that's what i always tell people don't feel like oh social media like the tendency of this sort of girl oh i need to be like this there are some people that are reduced 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 drastically when they now reduce they are not still happy so this is my point whereby i tell you please guys love yourself learn to love yourself i'm even going to teach you how to learn to love yourself and steps to learn to how to accept who you are who you really are and all of those things love yourself tell yourself oh people told you you're beautiful you're fat tell yourself in the mirror i am beautiful and um, those are words of affirmation if you don't have if you don't have what you're doing those are words of affirmation tell yourself i'm beautiful i am strong i am smart i i own my body my body is beautiful i am comfortable in my skin that's the thing. Some people actually commit suicide from this. If someone rejects you, like, you're not... If someone rejects you, like, how I explain it? Like, you're not... Jesus, what did I do? I'm not competent. And he chose me over this kind of person. So, move on. It's not easy to move on, but cry, yo. But then, love yourself enough to pack your things and leave. Don't let that nar narrative take you into another phase of depression or sadness or you now start thinking you're not good enough for someone stop with that negative you're good enough you're beautiful your your person will find you that's just it your person will find you i think i've given like five tips or five um advices on how to stop with this whole negative mindset so guys yes i've come to the end of this video I just wanted to make this video very very short because i am <laughs> this was like an impromptu video because i'm literally going out right now so yes guys so i hope you enjoyed this video and my new subscribers please do not forget to subscribe if you liked my video please comment down below i love you all so much this is naomi your favorite stay subscribed i love you girl bye